If you're a truck owner, pretty sure the phrase, too much cool stuff for my truck, has never rolled off your tongue. And for RVers, let's face it, it's also true, we can never have too many ways to bring along our gear and our toys. So, under the category of all of the above, we're going to install this Yakima cargo system on our 2019 F-150. Complete with the overhaul HD adjustable height bed rack with HD bars, the baseline mounts and jet stream bars over the cab, and lock and load platform for both, this setup should have us ready for just about anything. We'll walk you through each step and break it up into two chunks, the over the bed system and the over the cab system. Can't wait to load up the boats and boards and go have some fun, so let's get started. Out of the gate, if you're installing all these components, it should be noted the order of assembly is important. The placement of the overhaul rack support bars, for example, will be prescribed by the size of the lock and load platform, so we'll assemble that first. Assembly of these platforms is tedious for sure, with several dozen parts and screws, but not what I'd call difficult. There are eight steps to assemble the frame and attach the slats and platform supports. Take it step by step, you'll need a 4mm hex or torque wrench, and pay close attention to the manual, especially assembling the frame, and you wind up with a solid and very substantial structure. Now it's on to the overhaul HD rack. This is the centerpiece of the system, and if you're picking just one of these components to install, this is likely your top choice. Read through the manual, it's clear and concise, and then roll through the steps. Starting with assembling the HD bars and then installing the front bases on the bed rails, bam. It's pretty much that easy, though you'll want to be careful that each of the bases is in the same position on each side. The next step is adjusting the height on the front towers. Yakima has very intelligently etched scales on each tower, so it's pretty easy to get them to the same height on each side and front to back. But do take a moment here to consider what height you'll want the HD bars to be at when you're done, as it's easier to adjust now than when the towers and bars are already installed. When installing the towers onto the bases, note Yakima's ingenious engineering of these assemblies and the elegant way the towers clamp into place. They're simple to attach and pretty easy to move around later if you need to. The HD bar goes on next and this might be the most difficult part of all, as the scale is etched on the underside of the bar and gravity is working against you as you try to get the set screws threaded and keep them loose enough to adjust the bar to center, but not so loose that they fall out. Ample patience, a few deep breaths, and possibly a headlamp to better see the scale are highly recommended for this part. Tighten the towers in place as well as the set screws on the towers and HD bar and then basically repeat for the installation of the rear towers and rear HD bar. Again, placement of the bases is crucial here as you need to consider what you're going to put on those bars. Just surfboards and kayaks? Then further apart might be appropriate. In our case, we're installing the lock and load platforms, so we'll want those towers pretty close to Yakima's minimum recommended distance in order to correctly position the platform over the mounting blocks. Again, a flashlight and a Zen proverb or two while positioning that rear HD bar and tighten it all down. Finally, install the tower locks to the lock posts and we're ready to move on. The lock and load platform pre-assembled, our tower placement calculated correctly and the mounting blocks attached to the HD bars, the platform slides into position and mounting clamps are installed and tightened. With the overhaul HD rack and the lock and load platform mounted over the bed, it's time to work on the baseline towers and the jet stream bars over the cab where we'll mount a second lock and load platform. I've reviewed the manual, recorded some preliminary specs, and watched the excellent video that Yakima has posted on their website, so let's have at it. As the baseline towers and jet stream bars are unboxed, it seems like a lot, but honestly, it's really not. Installing the seats and bar adapters on the towers is just a couple of steps times four. At the beginning of the manual for the towers and bars installation, we were directed to the Yakima website where the specs for my truck were accessed and recorded. The towers are then attached to the bars per those Yakima specs. Some cosmetics, stripping in the channels and end caps, finish the bar assemblies and they are ready to mount to the roof. 
For installing the tower and bar assemblies, the Yakima calculations were spot on, telling me the exact width and pitch to set the towers at. Using these specs, the tower feet fit perfectly into the channels on my F-150 Super Crew Cab roof, and the bars are nice and level. Also under the category of cosmetics, the windshield is the next item on our agenda. Now, I'm sure there's some science to say the windshield actually does improve aerodynamics and prevent too much air getting in under the rack. And that's all well and good, but I gotta say, it's also a really slick finish for this part of the system. And finally, finally, we top off the roof rack with another lock and load platform. Okay, so when it's all set up, this Yakima combo is pretty impressive. Maybe even the ultimate cargo system. I did the installation in a few phases. The overhaul rack took a couple hours. Each of the lock and load platforms took another couple hours to assemble. And the baseline towers and jet stream bars was another hour or so. It's completely modular, with the components being pretty easily removed and reinstalled. I figure I'll keep the overhaul rack in place pretty much permanent and set up the lock and load platforms and the jet stream bars as needed. And if, okay, let's say when this COVID thing passes and we're thinking about taking trips past the end of our driveway again, then it is no holds barred install the whole system, and we're taking all the toys. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave your comments below. We'd love to hear what you think of our videos.